Hello, the good people of Wyndham. Hi. My name's Scott. I'm Ariane. And uh, we're the team from Swing Patrol, and we're very excited to be doing a dance class for you, a swing dancing class. Uh, we specialize in the old indie hop, uh, which is to us the mother of all swing dancers. There's some other great ones as well. But, and we're gonna teach you just a little part of that Lindy Hop, and you can do it solo or partnered. So uh, we'll take it really slow, and we assume no knowledge. We're also the Yarraville teachers, and we're filming this in Kingsville, so we're not too far away. So, uh, you know, Swing Patrol's all over Melbourne, uh, and we have a lot of dancers in Wyndham. So, uh, yeah, so remember, uh, with something online like this, if it goes too fast for you, you can pause it, but we'll be dancing at different angles, and uh, yeah, we wish you all the best in this journey and uh, it'll be about half an hour. So let's see how we go. Let's do it. All right. yourselves. Uh, everybody facing us, we're going to face away from you and everyone's going to go back on their left foot. So, left foot, we're going to go left, right. So you want to do that a few times. And don't put your heel on the ground. So it's just one, two. You see you're transferring your weight every time. How would you describe this? Just two steps. Step all right, so we have to get to eight. It's been a while. Uh, so that's two, okay? So we have to get eight things into this Charleston. So, seven, eight, one, two. After that, we're just gonna do a little pump, then a land. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. So, Ariane's gonna face that way, I'm gonna face this way. Seven, eight, rock, step, little pump, and then a land, okay? So the pump is just, it's like you're squashing a Coke can, and then put your foot down, all right? Again, seven and eight, one, two, three, four. All right, after that, you're gonna kick with your right foot on five. So we're gonna go from the start, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, you have to have your weight forward so you can easily kick on five and be well balanced. <laughs> okay, here we go. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. All right, okay with that? Let's try again. I'll face you this time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So with the hands, they're acting uh, as a little balancing, but it's just like walking for now, okay? There's a few more nuances later on, but for now, it's just like walking. So super relaxed. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. You probably noticed if you were to take a photo on one, when your left foot goes back, your left hand goes forward. So we'll strike a pose on one with us. Six, seven, and one. Okay, so that's your position. Then your hands just move uh, sort of in counterbalance with your feet, but just in a natural, like you're walking movement, okay? If the arms are too much for you right now, don't worry about it, just focus on the feet. Just have them out. Right, so, let's both face this way. Let's worry about the right foot now. Put your weight on the left, and we're gonna go kick and kick down. Again, kick and kick down. Again, kick and kick down. So as you can see, the right foot has two kicks. To break it down even more, and maybe uh, you're going to face that way, I'll face this way. We have kick, kick, Bring it up. kick, kick it behind, and down. And then land on that foot. If you like counting, the counting goes five, six, seven, eight. So you now have your whole Charleston on your left foot. Do you go back on your right? Yes, particular those doing what's called the lead role. There's a lead and follow role in partner dancing, but we're not focused really on that today. Um, but for now, in this class, everyone's going back on the left foot the whole time. Right, from the top, what do you think? Let's go. 
follow every arm, I'll face you. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, stop there. Well done. We're gonna put some music on now so you can practice. So we'll do it a few times with you and see how you go. So the music really helps because the music is in, it fits really well with the music by the nature of the phrasing. So you'll feel with the structure of the music when to start each time. It's always on the start of the bar. So here we go. We'll just play it for a couple of minutes and have a practice with us. All right, so you want to face away? All right, okay. and good times blossom off that move. So, now we're gonna teach you something that is uh, an extension of this Charleston. It's called the full turn. In the move today, only one person's gonna do it, but you both need to learn it. So, first of all, everyone stand this way. Tap your left shoulder. You're gonna do 360 degrees like this. Anti-clockwise. All right, so to your left, anti-clockwise. You're going to do the Charleston footwork you now know, but in that environment of 360 degrees. So, let's recap to the count of four. Remember that Charleston to four? Let's get to four. And one, two, three, four. Now, instead of facing that way, you need to turn and face 180 degrees by four. So, watching us first. One, two, three, four. So, See? you should be facing the other way now. So if I do it this way, so, you're, so it helps somebody, different people learn differently. Watch in slow motion, we turn on two almost. We're going one, two. So footwork's the same, but we're starting to turn. Then we pivot around, okay. three, four. And land on that left foot. So 180 degrees, and we've only got to four. Okay, let's do that again. Six, seven, and one, two, three, four. So it's a bit tricky, let's have a really slow motion turn. Six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, kick down. down. And you notice your head must be over your feet the whole time. So you don't get caught out like that. Keep your weight forward the whole time. Now, let's talk about the five, six, seven, eight. So at the moment, the original five, six, seven, eight just went like this. Five, six, seven, eight. But now that little hitch gives you turn, okay? Watching what we mean. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it's hard. It's harder to do it on the spot. So let's try it again. And five, six, seven, eight. Which means when you get to four, so we'll do the whole thing for you. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Kick in front of us. Kick, and here's the big turn. Hitch. Hitch. Kick behind. Four. So that hitch gives you turn, okay? So. Let's demonstrate without stopping. Okay, I'll face this so way. You get, you get the full picture. Just so you get into the rhythm of it, we'll do a Charleston first, full turn. Charleston, full turn. When I say Charleston, I mean a basic one without turning, all right? Let's do it. High five a partner if you have one. If, you're, if you don't have one, high five yourself. All right, team. Right, one Charleston first. Six, seven, and Charleston, boom. Double kick, here we go. Double, double kick, and Charleston. Boom, da, 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 and around. Boom, double kick, da, boom, ba, ba, ba. So, now, here's the fun bit. If you do have a partner, remember we've done this Charleston uh, all on our left foot. So 
So if I put Ariane here, we'll just go back to this. If you have someone or just uh, maybe a piece of furniture, we'll have some distancing here. And after eight, do it near someone or something. Six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. The general rule is the person at the back is palm up. Now don't do it in a resting way. It should be just outside. Very relaxed. The person at the front's hips, okay? No holding hands, just placing on top for the person at the front. Now if you want Remember, to... always back on this left foot. And try not to go kicking or stomping if you're the front person. Because you don't want to stand on anyone. So just a very small back step to the left foot to start with. By the way, if you want to add the hands in, you start like this, okay? So again, as the left foot goes back, the left hand goes forward. So watching us, we're gonna go seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, four. Now watch the turn. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and that's what you just learned, and that's the context. Watch again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you know two moves and we're putting them together. Let's just stand like this with your partners. My right hand is the lead hand, the person at the back. So without the footwork, you can see that right hand comes Coming up. Coming around. And gives me that anti-clockwise direction over my head. Now the hands are like magnets, so they're not grippy. You see Ariane rolls her hands. So I am still the person at the back, and still the person at the palm up, okay? So that's called the rolling of the hands. And if you don't get that today, don't worry about it. Right, so let's now try a Charleston, then a turn, Charleston, then a turn. And Charleston, boom, double kick and turn for the follow at the front. And I'm just keeping my footwork, the person at the back, for now. I'm just keeping the same footwork while I turn my partner. Now, of course, wouldn't it be fun if we both turned? Because you both know the footwork. I, just to walk it again, I turn my partner, you see I grab this hand, and I keep around turning. Because my priority, the person at the back or the lead role, is to make sure my leading has perfect clarity. So I turn Ariane, even though I'm getting involved now, I still grab Ariane's hand and say, keep on turning. So that should look like this. We'll turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ba, ba. So with a little practice now, we're hoping you can do this. Charleston, boom, just the front person. Boom, ba, ba, double kick. Charleston, ba, 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 ba. Everybody turn, double kick, and da, da, da. Well done, hope you went well. Shall we try that with music? Yes. Charleston, keep a pulse going in the body. just to slow it down, pause, pause it and practice. Everything has eight beats so far. So the Charleston part of this dance has eight beats. So whatever you do, always go back to this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now remember, I just want to make a note about this back kick. We really have to remember to kick behind us. So it's forward, hitch, and then we can't just put our foot down. There has to be a small back kick. time to learn something new. We're going to teach you some moves that we mainly called crossovers. Some people call them Dorothy's, some people call them the shag step because they're originally from another dance we do called collegiate shag. You'll see Swing Patrol teaching that around uh, Melbourne and beyond as well. So everybody facing us. Now we're simply going to put your weight on your left foot and you're going to go step, step. Let's do that again. Right, left, 
again, seven, eh? Right, left, then, right, left. So it's right, left, right, left. So step, 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 step. There's no delays, it's just step, 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 step. So let's try a few of them. Step, 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 step. So when there's right foot, I kind of think of it as a small semicircle as it swoops over. The moment the right foot is put down, this is when this left foot kind of flicks back up. So it hits again, and that left foot flicks back. And flick. Let's try that a few times. Flick. And together, seven and flick. And that's what makes it fun, right? And then once you do your flick, from here, So what makes it fun is if I put Ariane in this position, so perhaps copy us, and just imagine for now, I'll just relax and just do the motion of it, the mapping. This right hand leads over into these little flicks. So you lead that after the fourth beat of the Charleston, which means halfway through. So to show you what I'm talking about, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So again, that is just the Charleston. Rock, step, kick down. So we've just done a little, like a quarter turn, okay? So now if we dance into it, so remember the first half of the Charleston into these this little shag step. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Alright? And you notice our hands copy each other just to make it look a little more fun. So if I put around here and we'll move away from the camera a little bit, as we come over, every time we put our first step down, we go over, 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 over. all right? So the hand goes over. There's some different options, but that's a good one to start with. Again, if the hands are too much, just focus on the feet. All right, so uh, you can practice that on your own. If so when people in uh, the Lindy Hop swing dancing world, there's a lot of solo dance competitions and just solo dancing. So people get out there and they just do this little move on their own, or they do some Charleston on their own, and then they bust out into these little crossovers. So you don't need a partner for these. You don't, but you can try with a partner. Just remember, leading into it, the flick happens on the five. So we'll just demonstrate that again. One, two, three, four, five. So with a partnership getting in, it's five is the key moment there. So. Now, remember you can always pause, but we're gonna go from the top now. So we'll do it this way, so you can see I'm moving. We can do one Charleston together, and then just Ariane's gonna do the full turn. I'm gonna lead that clockwise, remember, anti-clockwise, sorry. Then a full Charleston, then we both do a full turn. Then a full Charleston again, so that'll be our third normal vanilla full Charleston. Then into these new step, the little shag step, okay? So come with us if you like, we'll go nice and slow. After eight, six, seven, and Charleston. Boom, ba, ba, ba. Follows turn. Boom, double Double kick. And just a duck, 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 duck. Everybody turn. Double kick. And just a boom, shag step. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll get to the exit in a minute. It's the exit we've chosen today. It's a nice, easy one. All right, so how did you go? Should we practice that with music? Remember to keep the pulse going. Even if everything goes wrong, if you've got a good pulse to the music, that's all that really matters. Enjoying this little swing dancing journey. 
Now we're going to show you how to exit. Obviously there's a whole range of ways to exit but this is the one we've chosen today and it's really fun. So we're like this. Today we're going to do two of these shag steps. So straight into it. Rock, step, over and one and two. Then on the third one, it looks like a third one, but this hand here, the leader's right hand, is going to create a little break. Right? The and right leg crosses over in front of the left. Both our right legs. And this hand is asking our hand to turn around slowly, and pushing around. And find it. And I will just keep turning until I face my partner again. So watch it without stopping, it might help. We go over, then first, then second. And, and cross. Boom, boom. Five, six, seven, eight. Then you could just have a little boogie. Boogie is a very much a big part of swing dancing, so that's a nice easy bit. Okay? And obviously you need to face each other. The general lead hand is the leader's left hand is palm up. And the follower's right hand palm down. So that's where you generally want to finish. Let's try again together. Here we go. Straight into these little uh, shag steps. Six, seven, eight. Over. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Over. Ball. Now what does happen, and we did it at the demonstration at the start, if you can throw sugar uh, or salt over your shoulder, uh, you can, it's a nice way of getting off stage. So from this perspective, I'm doing these little chugs. I'm going, la -da, la -da, la -da, la -da. It's tiny, it's not la -da. It's very small. It doesn't matter which foot goes first, but I usually go right left, so it's right left. Right left, right left. So I'm going, butter, and I'm throwing salt over my shoulder just because it's an authentic move that you see in the old movies. What are you doing, Ariane? So for us, and again, this is all just optional, but one way we've had a pull our partnership kind of off, and as we do that, we just take, do what we call fishtails backwards, which just looks like this back and back and back and back. And essentially, it's just stepping back with our towards, right foot. Towards the camera thing. So it's just taking steps back in its most basic form. It's just step, 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 step. But all we're doing is really adding a bit more sass to this. And so I think of it more as the hips go back in different directions. So I take a step back. My hips go back in this angle. And then the hips go back in the other angle. And back. And you want to keep the knees together. You want to avoid the big open leg look and just think back, drag the leg. Back, drag the leg. Back, drag the leg. And this is just what we call fishtail. So it will look like this well, as we're dragging so If we do the exit. Okay. We'll do, okay. So let's go into this whole shag section. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, pull, ba, 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 ba. ba. And off stage you go. Right, so let's go from the very top because you're almost done. Well done for persevering and all the best to you all out there. So here we go. A little swing dancing Wyndham class that you've learned today. And remember you can do this completely solo or if you have a partner, brilliant. Yeah, these steps are partnered or solo, it doesn't matter. Right, here we go. Six, seven and Charleston. Four. Now the first person's turning on their own. Boom. Double Up, kick. kick. Charleston. Da da da. Everybody turn. Boom. Double kick. Charleston. Now we're thinking of the exit. Boom. Ba, shag step. One. Two. Boom. Boom. Ba da. Ba da. Ba da. Ba da. All right. Want to try with music? Yes. Remember for the exit, throw a left hand in the air, just make it sassier, just do something with this, uh, this left hand because you're holding the right hand.
it on their own. Perhaps I'll face you and Ariana will face that way. And you can do turns whenever you want, but we'll stick to the same structure that we've been doing. Here we go. On your left foot, six, seven, and on your own. To your left, full turn. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and boom. Up, another Charleston on the spot and turning. Boom, Stop. full kick. Another Charleston. Now we're thinking of that little shag step. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, three, four, jump around and off, and off, and off, and off. All right. So on behalf of uh, Ariane and myself uh, and Swing Patrol, a big thanks to the people of Wyndham for joining us and uh, we hope you enjoyed the class and we wish you well with your swing dancing. Maybe we'll see you at Point Cook or Yarraville or wherever you, there's a Swing Patrol class around Melbourne at some stage. All the very best to you all and cheers. Thanks, bye. Beating on one man, one of them took the silverware.